This is a big piece of buckeye burl, and it's actually the same burl that I carved this turtle sculpture with over a year ago. So I've been holding on to this thing and waiting for the perfect opportunity to use it. I'm going to be carving this thing into a swan, and the first order of business is sharpening my blade. Check out how dull this blade is. In order to have a good sculpture, you need to start with good reference images. And I am lucky enough to have worked with Laura here for over two years, and she is an amazing 3D artist who renders all of my sculptures. I'm going to be using some Total Boat tabletop epoxy to seal the wood. This is just going to give me a little added protection to bubbles releasing during the main pour. Over on Instagram I made a story showing exactly what you see here and you would not believe the amount of comments that said this thing looked like a big chicken nugget. Now I don't know what kind of chicken nuggets you guys are used to but mine look nothing like this. Anyways, once this thing was cured, it's time to start making a mold and I'm kind of just piecing together scraps here as you can see and uh, hopefully this thing works out. Now, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know this isn't new for me. I will actually tint all my resin purple. Um, this is to offset the yellowing that will occur. Occur, no, that will occur because I'm curing too much resin at once. When you kind of go over the recommended depth of pour and epoxy, you will get yellowing. So this tint just offsets that yellowing. I'm gonna be attempting something for the very first time and it is extremely risky. I'm gonna be pouring the swan's head and neck completely separately. Not only will this save me a ton of epoxy, but by making a form like this, it's saving me a lot of carving time as well. And if that wasn't risky enough, I'm also gonna be carving the beak so I can add it to the mold. Any mistake now can end up ruining the entire sculpture. I'm gonna be pouring this one in the guest room of the house, which may seem a little weird, but you know, it's actually a very temperature regulated environment being inside. And obviously my refrigerator is full with the body of the swan curing. So inside is always a good option. All right, while that's curing, I wanted to take a minute and answer one of the most asked questions on my channel. That is, what do you do with all of your offcuts? Well, let me show you. I'll end up saving every single offcut from these sculptures, unless they're too small to work with, of course, and I'll end up turning them into end grain cutting boards. Now I have to use a lot of my own dimensional lumber as well for these because I don't have that much offcuts, but within every cutting board I will have an element of a sculpture offcut, which I think is pretty cool. Um, this year I'll have enough for maybe 15 to 20 boards. 
Um, and, you know, one of my favorite parts of this is actually just mixing and matching all the different species of wood and coming up with all these cool patterns. And after all the epoxy was cured, there was only one thing left to do, and that was sand all of these boards, and it takes a very long time. Which got me thinking, I do have two part-time employees that might be able to work. Look at this! Circle motion! I might even have a better job for these two. And that didn't work. As you can see, I have a young family. And as I get older, I start to think about better ways to help protect them. And one of those ways is through today's video sponsor, Ethos. Life insurance is one of those things people don't always like to discuss. Death is a sensitive topic, but knowing your options and being prepared for the worst case scenario is smart. According to the 2022 Brookings study, it costs about $311,000 to raise a child. Here you go. Here, here you go. You're very expensive. If you own life insurance at the time you pass, it can help ensure your children will have financial support to grow and live the life you want for them. Traditionally, life insurance has been confusing, expensive, and time consuming. Ethos, on the other hand, focuses on creating a seamless customer experience with a 100% online application process. By eliminating medical exams and blood tests, Ethos is able to help people get coverage in minutes instead of weeks. You just answer a few health questions online and for the price of dinner, you can get life insurance. So if you're interested in learning more about Ethos or getting your free life insurance quote today, check out my link below. Thanks Ethos for sponsoring this video. Now let's get right back to it. And just like that, we have 21 completed end grain cutting boards that incorporate a piece of sculpture off cut in each one. These will all be listed for sale on my website, First Come First Serve, so check it out. I will put a link in the description. So far so good. I'm happy with how the pour went. These two different pieces seem to be matching up really well. I just have to cut this down a little bit, but for the most part, all is good right now. All right, now it's the moment of truth. I'm a little bit scared, but I think I just got to go for it. Let's see if this head and neck stay on the body as I carve into it.
This is a commissioned sculpture and it's actually headed all the way to Taiwan, so I'm pretty excited to have a sculpture all the way over there. The client saw my original swan here and wanted something really similar, however, the problem with, uh, with having a catalog of sculptures is people only want to order what you've already made. So I made sure to tell them that I do not want to do the exact same thing. I want to make it a little bit different. So we adjusted the wings, adjusted the neck, and uh, I think this one's really going to be uh, a lot different than that first one. Once I'm done cutting everything down to size with the chainsaw, it's time to start refining the details. And for this, I use all the cuts, all discs and burrs, and these things work fantastic shaping and kind of feathering and smoothing out the areas. As I'm carving away, I would love to have your guys' help on my next sculpture. I've been wanting to do something with patterned end grain for a really long time. I pulled up one of my favorite designs from Feldhaus Family Woodworks and they have a bunch of really cool designs that I've seen. And I basically want to turn this into a huge block and then carve either a bull, horse, or buffalo out of it. So I would love your guys' help. Let me know which one you think would look the best down in the comments. I'm really liking how this thing's taking shape right now, but there's still a long ways to go. Once I was finished shaping the swan, it was time to start sanding. And I pretty much throw every kind of sander I have at this. I mean, there's so many different angles to get into that really just not one sander works. What I really like is this surf prep sander. This thing has a really spongy soft pad and it really gets all these contours really well. I also want to thank Jacob. That's Jacob right there. He helped me sanding not only the cutting boards but the swan and helped me out around the shop. So thank you Jacob. I really appreciate the work. One of the hardest parts of this sculpture was carving the eye sockets. There was zero margin of error here, so I had to really take my time and make sure the fit was absolutely perfect. If you like this video up to this point, please consider subscribing. Every subscription helps me out so I can continue to make the best sculptures and videos possible for you guys. Also be sure to check out some of my other videos because I think you're going to like them. Lastly, if you guys want to purchase these cutting boards or check out more detailed pictures of the finished sculpture, be sure to check out my website. I will put a link in the description. Alright, let's check out this finished sculpture.